I killed Nathan Hale. I had no choice. He was becoming one of them. He could have stopped me, but I think he wanted to die. At least that's what I keep telling myself. Even in death, Hale continued to fight. Dr. Malikov found a unique protein in Hale's blood. He isolated it, created a vaccine. Finally, a cure for the Chimera virus. We were all inoculated, saved again by Hale one last time. Hale was the hero, and I was the villain. percent of the world's population had been killed or converted by the Chimera. Those of us remaining did what we could to remind ourselves we were human. Susan and I found each other, fell in love. We both wanted to forget the past. We vowed to stop fighting and start living. I kept that vow as long as I could. Dale said he's got your bullseye ready at the range. Thanks for staying up with Jack last night. Oh, I didn't think he'd ever get to sleep. Maybe he had another fever. Or maybe he just wanted to spend more time with his daddy. Jack doing today? Poor kid sounded like he was coughing up a lung last night. Morning, Joe. Uh, say, listen, Dale's got your bullseye ready. Well, watch it. He's not cranky this morning. took you so long. Here, got your bullseye all fixed up. Now, I ain't fired it yet. You know how I feel about working on these goddamn alien things. Hey, look. Nito! on, Joe! You told me it's a lot more accurate when you use your sights. Stop of that bullseye. Let's make sure she's sound. Try whacking this dummy for me. They say those EMPs will work on most Camaran shields, like the ones those steel hit. Looks like you're good to go. And just remember who worked all damn night to get those. Oh no, they're here. Joe, Death Squad is coming into town. Come on. Let's all get to our stations and stay quiet. Tommy Dean, tell us what you saw. About a dozen hybrids. And, and a stalker. Headed right down Main Street. Okay. Everybody to your scouting positions. Stay hidden. We'll let him walk through town and move on, just like last time. Got it? Go. Lester, Joe, get to the bowling alley. Nate and his boys will be waiting for you. You got it. Come on, Joe. This way. Right 
outside, in the street. Stay low. Wait until they pass by, then get into the tunnels. Come on. Let's stick to the tunnels. We gotta meet up with Nate at the bowling alley. Come on. Sounds like they're gone. Yeah, I think they're gone. Get him out of sight, and get back underground! Everybody! All scouts, report in. North outpost, clear. South outpost, clear. West outpost is clear. Tommy Dean, report in. Tommy Dean, do you read me? Susan. Joe. Oh. I thought I lost you. I'm okay. How is he? Oh, fever's down. A little. Joe, I can't reach Tommy Dean. His radio's probably out again. Should I send Lester? All right. I'll check it out, okay? Joe! Be careful. Dropship coming into land near you. Be careful.
Thank God it's you. I had to turn off my radio. Death squads everywhere. Storm's coming out at the ridge. But it ain't like no storm I ever seen. Come on, I'll show you. Hybrid's in the cornfield. Get ready. Tell me I'm crazy. What the hell is it? It's a terraformer. Susan, you there? I was just gonna call you. A guy just walked into town. Says he knows you. Get a few drones following him. I've got everyone underground just in case. No, we won't be safe underground. We have to evacuate the town. I should be sad, but I ain't. Just angry. Looks like our guys got him held on the bridge. Let's flank him. Ready? Thanks, Joe. You got here just in time. Where's Susan? Last I saw her, she was near the bank. Scrounge for weapons and ammo. Then get back to town. There's more of them on the way.
Joe! Susan! Is Jack okay? Yes, he's in the tunnel. Get him. Grab all the food, water, and blankets you can carry. Lester, barricade that street. Chimera and ground troops will be here in a few minutes. We'll have to hold them off till the rest of the town evacuates. I want to know who got us into this mess. Malakoff. You goddamn fool, you let him right to us! Still have the anger issues, I see. What's going on? Nothing. Just a crazy old man. Joseph, you must listen. When Nathan detonated the bomb in Mexico, it acted as a catalyst. Power surged through the Chimera Tower Network toward New York City. There, it activated a bridge through space and time. What they call a wormhole. Its purpose is a mystery, but its effects are clear. That tower in New York is slowly freezing our entire planet. I've been trying to find you for months. We're moving everybody upstate. We might have room for one no, more. No, you don't understand. I came here for Joseph. We must travel to New York City. We must shut down the tower. Not a chance in hell. Temperatures are dropping faster. We, we will not survive the winter. <coughs> Any of us. Joe, more dropships in the main street. I'll be right there. Joseph, I'm the only man alive who knows how to shut down that tower. I need you to protect me on the way to New York. You want protection? Here. Follow the tunnel under the church. I'll be right behind you. I'll call you and let you know when everyone's out. Don't wait for us. You and Jack get out of here. Promise. Come on, Joe! Let's regroup in the shop! We need help out of the junkyard! They're moving in! We can't hold them back! I'm hit! Ricky, get up! Ricky! Take this marksman, Joe. I put a few turrets in there. Use them if you get into trouble. We gotta hold these sons of bitches back while the rest of the town evacuates. Gotta get out of here. I am tired of watching my son die. 
Susie, we gotta go. Dr. Malakoff says that if you go to New York... What are you saying? If there's a chance, if there is any chance at all to give Jack a better life... Yeah, but if, if I go, I might never... Don't make me choose, Joe. Don't do that to me. Don't. Go. You'll do your best, right? Right. I love you. thing, Joseph. Shut up and drive. The fog is thickening, and I have lost the river. Stay prepared, Joseph. We may find trouble ahead. Your pal Freddy here. I got some folks on the line who'd like to pass along some messages. Go ahead, Arkansas. This is Ronaldo Johnny from Deer Creek, Arkansas. I just want to tell my family I'm okay. Our hunt party was attacked by some damn hybrids, but I got away. I'll come back to the hideout as soon as it gets dark. I love you, honey. Indiana, you're on the line. Is this that Irma Lindemann of Terre Haute, Indiana? I'm looking for my daughter, Molly. She's six years old, long, dark hair, brown eyes. Molly, if you're out there, please call mommy and let me know you're okay. And Texas, go ahead. Uh, Tyler Baker Fall, all on Texas. We're running real low on food down here. But we got plenty of fresh water and more medicine than we need. Call me to set up a trade. Please. There it is, folks. Remember, if you have any messages you'd like me to pass along, just contact me at 1400 kilohertz. The roadway is blocked. We will follow the river through this mill. Look, Joseph. Straight ahead. A kraken. It must have lost its way from deeper waters. What a fascinating creature. If only we had time to stop and examine the carcass. If those leapers are any indication, we may not be as safe on these waters as I had hoped. Here, take this. It has not been fired for some time. Test it on those blast roots over there. The waters branch here. Let us see where this takes us. We must stay away from the Goliath. Joseph, did you hear that? Hello? Is anyone there? Ah, 
They're jumping onto the boat! This is no good. There are too many Grims. We must find open water. Not again! Appears we have found the river. According to my map, we are now on the Mississippi. The city of St. Louis should be close. We will stop there and look for supplies. Oh no! Look! Ahead of us! Goliath! It is coming this way. Terrible. We have no choice. We must stay here and pray. It does not take notice. Someplace warm. Tower looks like a safe place to rest. Must find a way up there. <laughs> Quickly!
gone. We are very fortunate. That Widowmaker is feral, extremely dangerous. We must be cautious in this city. Use it to get to New York. We must find it before the Chimera. <laughs> I need to rest. I will be safe here. Go, Joseph. Find that Vito. Thanks for the help, fella. Name's Ellis. This here is Glenda and Martin. Good shooting out there. Yeah. We could use a guy like you around here. No doubt. But that's Charlie's call. Drop ship! Spread out! Keep him away from the VTOL! I got the right side!
new guy. Into the pub. Let's all go down here until the dropships are gone. Grenades and ammo up on the second floor. Good. Load up. This might get a little hairy. Charlie, on way. Where are you? We're holed up in the pub. But don't worry, we got a cover. We got a new friend here. He helped us out. Guy's a hell of a fighter, Charlie. Get back to the hideout as soon as you can. And bring your new friend. We'll head out as soon as the skies are clear. Dropship, coming in from the west. Listen up. Let's hit these bastards in the streets. Keep them away from the doors. Got it? Charlie will decide what to do with him once we get back to the hideout. Charlie's our leader. After the Chimera invaded, he brought all of us together. All of us remnants. Charlie was an officer in the army. Is that what he told you? <laughs> he wasn't an officer? He wasn't in the army. Not officially, anyway. A fine son of a bitch. What do you mean, not officially? Charlie's father was a senator. Wanted him to go to college, study politics, all that. Charlie left home on his way to Harvard, but took a detour and showed up at Fort Bennett. Talked his way onto the base, broke into the commander's office, forged some paperwork. The next day, we had a new sergeant. That sounds like Charlie. My name's Charlie Tent. You must be Joseph. How do you know my name? Malakoff. Joseph! He's been calling for you ever since we found him. It's infected. You got any penicillin? Hmm. There's one little problem. Our only aircraft is out in the open, with no power. What do you want? I want a new power supply. Same kind they use in those Chimera and dropships. Dropship, huh? That's a big job. Life's pretty simple, Joe. We fight, or we die. I'm guessing by virtue of the fact that you're still breathing, you are one of the fighting type, like us. Am I right? All right, here's the deal. You give the old man some pills, I'll help you take down that dropship. And once the VTOL is powered up and he's healthy enough to travel, you give us both a ride to New York City. You better be worth it. Now, let's get to work setting up that ambush.
Okay, let's go over the plan one more time. There's a dropship on patrol down by the river, a couple miles away. As soon as the drone sends out its signal, that dropship will come quick. Now, if any Chimera survive the crash, they'll be coming into the street over the top of that bus. We'll concentrate our fire there. Once the coast is clear, Ernie will climb over the barricade to the crash site, grab the power core, then zip his way back across the street. When it's time to move, we go through that door. Joe, release the drone. Drone signals out. We got extra ammo and grenades upstairs in that building to our right. And inside Colby's on our left. Once the fighting starts, keep moving. Harder to hit moving targets. Now comes the hard part. Here they come. That was fast. saying, Joe. That was downright questionable for a second there. Ellis, you there? Charlie, glad to hear your voice. You too, pal. You got the power supply? Yeah. So what's next? I think we can make it across the rooftops. All right. I'll send over the gondola. People died today. I know that. But listen, it's a shitty world out there. You get to thinking too much about it, you pull yourself down. Guys like you and me, we can't let that happen. We gotta show everyone else how to live. Know what I mean? <laughs> Buck up. 
Nobody said this was gonna be easy. My turn. <sighs> Load up on ammo. Don't want you running low while you're watching my back. You are gonna watch my back, right, Joe? my skin, Joe. I won't forget that. I promise. Things aren't going quite the way I planned. But you're familiar with that, aren't you, Joe? You seem like a guy who's used to things going from bad news. God damn it! That mess. Well, Joe, looks like you were in that trip to New York City. trouble. It was just a dream, Joseph. I need you to go check on my family. What? My wife and son in Baxter Springs, Oklahoma. Oklahoma? <laughs>
Joseph, I would scold you for your senseless actions, but there is no use in arguing. Move south through the forest. There is a train ahead on the other side of a bridge. I will meet you there. I have discovered a tunnel at the end of the tracks. Let us hope we can use the train to continue toward New York. Joseph, thank God you are alive. Come, this way. Joseph, if we use this train to travel through the mountain instead of over it... I knew y'all would be coming soon. Saw you fighting on the bridge back there. You're the one we've been praying for. Come on inside. <laughs> Thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayers. The train? train don't work. My husband could fix it if he were here. Left two days ago to fix the town generator. When will he be back? Should have been back last night. Jonathan, my husband, is the leader of our congregation. There aren't many of us left. There's a creature in the mines. Early on, it took whole families. We tried to fight it, but we lost a hundred folks in the first month. We're more careful now. Tell me more about this creature. It comes up through the earth, like Satan himself. It's infected most of the town, turned them into Grimm's, and worse. We build walls to keep them out, but they just break through. Jonathan tells us all this is God's way of testing our faith, like Job in the good book. We do our best. We fight, we pray, but sometimes there is so much sadness, and sickness, and death. Why don't you just leave? Leave? No, sir. This is our land, given to us by God. If we're meant to die here, so be it. A few months back, a group of folks lost their faith and decided to leave us. They made it half a mile outside town. They're with God now. Bless their souls. When Jonathan left, he said that if he saw the creature, he was going to try to kill it. I love my husband, but he's no fighter. Not like you. I prayed for you to come. I believe Jonathan is still alive out there. 
And I believe that God sent you here to go and find him. Please, help us. Joseph, we need that train. You must find this man who can fix it. Be careful. May God be with you. I thought we were dead men for sure. My name's Jonathan. Folks call me Father Jonathan, as I'm a man of God. Put here to spread his word. I'm on my way to kill the creature in the mines. I ain't going back till it's dead. This used to be one of the biggest coal processing plants in Pennsylvania. Worked here 12 years before the Chimera came, and the creature showed up. Killed off most of the town. I told my wife I was gonna try and kill it if I could. With your help, I think our chances are pretty good. There's an elevator here that leads to the mines. And that's where the creature lives, deep in the coal shafts. When the Chimera first came, it was hard to keep folks' spirits up. I'm not gonna lie, my own faith was tested a time or two. These are dark times, friend. Our town needs to get back on its feet. Getting rid of that creature is the first step. Dang, power's down. Let's check the breaker. I'll just flip this switch, then we'll be back in business. Uh-oh, looks like the relay fuses went bad. Leeches. Leeches. God help us. I'll fix the fuses while you hold them back. Come on, this way. Watch my back while I replace these fuses. Go on. Got it. There's one more fuse box on the ground floor. Come on. Thanks. Stand with me all night. There. That should do. Good. Now let's get back to the elevator. This is David said to the Philistines. I come against you in the name of the Lord Almighty. God is with us, friend. He's gonna help us kill this son of a bitch. <laughs> Mine's been locked up for months. Keys are lost. Take a look at that storage room over there. See if you can find anything that might help us get through these doors. Time won't be so easy. Come on, let's, we're safer in the smaller tunnels. These big caverns make me nervous. Damn, looks like we'll have to move these supports. You think you can lift them? Thanks. We might just have a chance to beat this thing. Come on. There it is! Run! To the smaller tunnel! Into the smaller tunnel! Hurry! Come on, let's try to get around behind them. It's seen us! Hold on! Run! Keep running! Faster! Don't stop! I told you God was with us. Come on, the 
before it finds a way around. Thank you, friend. You gotta get out of this cavern and find a smaller tunnel. Come on. You ought to have enough to get you straight through to New York. Do us one more favor, will you? Of course. Pray for us. in my life. Colvin, Daedalus, Hale. I'm responsible for some horrific things. You and me both. There is very little chance we will succeed in New York City. Four years ago, Serper tried to attack the tower. We lost over 1,000 men. Afraid you may never see your family again. I know. But we're doing our best, right? Yes. Yes, and we may still have a chance. I have been thinking. The Chimera are perfect killing machines. But they have no thought beyond what the hive mind tells them. We can defeat them, but we must be creative. Unpredictable. We must use their power against them. Release it on the train of crash! 
assistant. Let us hope they will give up soon. Joseph, look! To the left of the train! A stampede of Widowmakers! They are traveling in packs! This is unprecedented! Joseph, are you okay? Yeah, but I'm stuck. Behind you! No! Stop! Stop! I'm warning you! I'll kill you! No, don't! Don't! Oh, God, you, you fucking son of a bitch! <laughs> you ready to have some fun, boy? Don't give up. You can't survive. Continue. You just have to... Yes, Nick. Time for the main event! Welcome to the pen, boy. Oh my god! Joseph. Joseph. That's your name, isn't it? I found this book among Dr. Malikov's things. He was a brilliant man. My name is Herbert Sawicki. I've been mixed lackey for over three years. I'm tired of being a victim. No more. I have a plan to escape, but we need to move quickly. You see that drone up there? There are four of them around the prison. You need to disable them. Here. I made something that should keep you safe. You can pull the trigger to fire quickly, or hold it down to build up pressure for a more powerful shot. Take the radio, too. I'll get the door.
patrols are sending an all-clear signal to any nearby Chimerian patrols. But we're gonna change that tonight. <laughs> Oh, uh, oh, oh, no, oh. unfortunate. We were almost compromised. I should be more careful. I can open up the security doors from these stations. Follow me. I'll open up the showers wing for you. This used to be the central control hub for the whole prison. Now they use it for entertainment of a sort. They call themselves wardens. They used to be prisoners here, but now they live on the other side of the bars. There's no explanation for their behavior. They're just drunk with power. Or fear. Or both. Uh, let's see here. The drone should be up on a catwalk at the far end of the room, but you'll have to go through the showers to get there. My apologies. wrong with this drone. You looking for this? Herbert, you piece of shit. We've been good to you. We kept you safe all these years. You think you can survive outside these walls? Ah! 
you wouldn't last a week. Get it. Oh no! You're trapped! This door is locked! If you give me a couple of minutes, I think I can rewire it. But you won't like where it leads to. some of the others, but we gotta move.
I... I didn't think I'd ever get out of there alive. If there's ever anything I can do to repay you. Take care of each other. Hello? Not even sure if this thing's working. My name is Joe Capelli. This message is from my wife, Susan. I miss you. Close to the tower, I think. If I can make it there alive, I'll try and destroy it. But Malikov is dead. If he were here, I might have a chance. Like you said, I tried my best. I love you. Tell Jack I loved him.
Ranger Matheson, Victor Company. Day three. Subways were a bad idea. Four men down already. Tubes are full of grims. And worse. The three of us are holding our own, but we're running low on ammo. If we can make it to the next platform, we're gonna blow ground. How'd you find me? Heard you on the radio. I was surprised to hear you were still alive. But your wife never doubted. Susan, is she? She's fine. So's Jack. She's the reason we're here. We're bringing you home, Joe. We can't go home. Not yet. You're never gonna get inside that tower. Just give it up, Joe. There's got to be a way. I hate losing as much as you do. But don't think about that now. You're on your way to see your wife and kid. They're gonna be real happy to see you. What do you think would happen if one of those terraformers fell out of the sky? You mean, fall out of the sky on top of that tower over there? That's exactly what I mean. I'd say that's a hell of an idea, Joe. And a hell of a way to get us all killed. But if it works? We fight or we die. Isn't that right? Ellis, change your plans!
do anything stupid now, Joe. Conduits? They're bringing energy from the core to the rest of the terraformer. I'm thinking, we follow those conduits, they lead us right to the core. They got all the doors locked. Let's see here. They're unlocked now. Let's move. I'll cover you from here. Nice work. Let's see where this takes us. Close, Joe. I can feel it. We gotta find the core and destroy it. I'm gonna go find Ellis. Make sure we got a way off this thing before it crashes. You know, I'm not one for speeches. So I'm gonna leave you with this. Good luck. <clears throat> this is Susan Capelli. And this message is for my husband, Joe. I hope I'm not too late. Joe, I'm sorry I told you to leave. I believed that there was a chance. Or maybe I just wanted to believe there was a chance. But after hearing you on the radio, I didn't want you to go. It was a mistake. I'm so sorry. Jack's good. There's a doctor here. He gave him some medicine. And there's other kids for him to play with. And he misses you. Come 
Get us out of the city!